Am I there? Am I loud? Let me put on a live chat so I see you guys. Hi everyone, um, welcome to my channel. My name is Jessica. I do fluid art and stuff. Mm, and you're here for a, either a live session or you're watching the recorded version of my life. Um, which would mean that you hear me talk to people that um, are in the chat. Hi everyone. So weirdly enough, my, my YouTube says something. Fiona, my friend. Hello, Carla. Hello, Frido. Hello, Lulu. Hello, Rose. Hello, everybody. Hi, Kat. Um, yeah, it's weird. My, uh, usually my phone, my device tells me there's one minute left for the life, but somehow it shows me that I was live this morning, 7.30, which I'm not. It's now. It's not 7.30 anymore because awake. Um, <laughs> painting, okay. Last week's piece, I loved it then, I still love it. And I'm not sure if you're on my side, <laughs> cause um, chaos, kinda, but also not. Um, I think this has almost everything that I want from a painting, which is a focal point, kind of a balance, some interesting spots, some negative space. Um, and I don't keep a lot of my paintings, some of you know, and some of you are disappointed. Hi, Sheldon. Um, but I have a vision in my head and it's just what it is. And I guess that's what makes an artist an artist to have that vision and wanting to bring that to the canvas. Um, Hello, Johanna. <coughs> Hello, Helga. Yeah, she's bored. Okay, um, I have a 16 by... Hey, Terry. Thank you. I'll close the door. And I'm back. Okay, 16 by 20 canvas, I have Spritzed it all like that. <laughs> and I have paints. Let's embrace the poopy colors. Haga says hi back, Fiona. She wants to visit you and eat your ducks. <laughs> Not eat them, but hunt them because she's a, she's a terrier. Okay, my favorite green. I never thought I would say that at all. Favorite and green in one sentence, but sap green it is, guys. Sap green from Golden. It's warm and rich and I like it a lot. Poopy color number one. Poopy color number two. Nickel azo yellow. Um, so I'm going to show you the cup because then you see the poop better. So golden, since there's no quinacro nickel as a gold anymore, that color. Um, they say you could mix nickel azo yellow with transparent red oxide. Four to one. Four, no, one to four. So four parts r transparent red oxide and one part nickel yellow. Um, so in this one though, I'm not mixing them together. I'm just gonna, I know it's not poopy. I love those colors. It's just people say they are poopy. But they don't have no taste, no taste. 
Um, so I'm using them apart from each other. But since they're transparent, maybe we can get a shade of the glazer gold. Okay, to bring in some bling. Egg, damn. So <laughs> I want to say asparagus because asparagus is the German name. Actually, Spargel. But um, that's why I mispronounce this all the time. Uh, because there's an error in there that my brain does not want to see. So asparagus. Asparagus. To get some bling. And yeah, that's a fresh, happy color palette because spring, right? And fresh and happy. <laughs> Shut up. Um, cell activators, black. This is a very thick black cell activator, but it will still work. Hello, Sue. Spagli. You should teach me Slovenian, Fiona. Baby poo green, exactly. So this is gonna be a happy poo, <laughs> happy, happy poo painting. Um, oh, then I of course have black. I don't want to do so. I want. Hmm, I kind of want to do hide and reveal. Hide and reveal. Hello, Zivia. Sylvie, sorry. Uh-huh. So, here is my black. Uh, hide and reveal, but not really. So I want to kind of keep that happy f thing alive, but also bring in some black for contrast. I don't know. I, I, I actually don't know. I wanted, my idea was to do a split canvas with a faux pillow. So keeping parts white, but um, also black. <laughs> uh, okay. Hello, Zula. I keep wanting to say Ola, because, you know, that's what we do in the Germany, right? Ola, das kleine Bärchen. Oder die Bären ist es, ne? So was. Okay, stepping on top of my gallons of paints. Happy program. <laughs> yeah, Sheldon. Okay, let's work on that. Um, I will flip you over now. No, let me do this and then flip you over so you don't see my mess. And again, I have not figured out how to zoom in or out with this, but I hope, I hope we're good. And I will see in a second. All right, putting my gallons away. Uschi, natürlich. Yeah, Ulla is, is oh, there goes the Terry again. Hello, Sylvia. Guck dir die ganzen deutschsprachigen Leute an, wie lustig. Wie schön, nicht lustig. Um, okay, let me start with my pillow paint. I learned and blow off the dirt of my little... ...pouring lid, but also I'm never really good at it. And there's always crap landing on my canvas. Okay. This seems to, it looks like lots of goopers came out of there. Um, let me get some tweezers right here. And this is obvious. Number one. I think the other ones were just bubbles. Uh, something goopy in there. Yeah, 
think it's just bubbles. Maybe this one is not. I think we're good. Alrighty. Excuse me. Excuse me again. All right, uh, my spreaders. Okay, um, usually when I do a split um, canvas, I usually do a diagonal, but that's just a, I don't know. Um, actually, I do not think about what I'm doing a lot of the times. I have this idea at first, but then end up doing something completely different. That happens a lot, so um, just just to break it up. Oops, sorry. Just to break it up for myself, I will not do a diagonal. I will just cover the lower third with black and do the rest in my other colors. Whew, okay, let's start with the poopy yellow. So you see, that's why I picked this color. You see it has like a greenish undertone. That's what makes it so poopy. But if you see on the sides where the layer gets thinner, it's this bright lemony um, yellow. So I thought that little green indicator in there would be a great um, thing to mix with green. Do I make sense? Let's spread this out. So my theory, depending on how much pillow paint you put on, Whatever you're putting on your canvas before the spin will triple in size. If you use a little less of your pillow paint, then the paint won't spread out as much and it won't expand that much. So, and if you use more, it will expand more. That is the whole idea of using a pillow paint and that is only used in the Shelly Art Bloom technique. And now things are getting a little bit more confusing because a lot of people try this that never took the course. This is my red um, oxide. And then especially beginners get a little confused and use like wall paint in their Dutch pores and stuff, which might turn out great, I don't know. But the fact is that this is coming from the bloom. I just took the recipe and did not blooms. <laughs> okay, I always clean my spreader within my colors, not within the colors, but with, you know, when I'm switching colors. Let's do the green now. Add that here. Happy St. Patrick's Day, by the way, speaking of green. I had no idea that that was a thing before I moved to the States. I wonder, is it actually celebrated in Ireland? I mean, I guess it's, it's it gives them a reason to drink, so why not? Hi, Priya. Hello, Heidi. <laughs> no, you're not the only one. Oh my God, Rose, yes. So I did have a kitchen that was that yellow. 
loved it. <laughs> okay, let's add the bling. This is the asparagus. And I, yes, let's just put it on the green. Okay, so in the beginning I said it will triple in size, so I'm pretty sure that what I have on there will be covering at least, I would think it would cover the whole canvas, yes. If I count in the black that I will put on now. Um, yeah. Here it is. So I assume I won't have lots of white left, but let's see what we can do. about the colors. We can make our black the negative space, why not? And there we go. See? Doing the diagonal. So if you have questions for me, um, I'd be happy to answer. Um, while I'm painting, it's possible that I won't see questions. So if you have, um, if I don't, keep your question and um, write it towards the end so um, we make sure that I see it and can answer the questions. And if not, put them in the comments and I will get to it. <sighs> okay. Palette knife, dirty as usual. Let me find another one. Yeah, that's dirty too, <laughs> but better. I will start with the black selectivator because the selectivator always wants to be on the very top. I get a lot of times I get asked if the black is my selectivator. I would never, ever, ever use that much selectivator. All you need is a couple drops like this. And a drop of gold. Okay, what are we gonna do? Um, you know what, I think I'm going to start here in the middle and move, there's so much paint on this, so the more, this will be lost in the end. Um, I was going to say something. What was that? Let me scoop this up, drag it out. Speaking of, thanks you guys, my, um, of the second class sold out at the Fluid Art Experience. It's the scoop and drag class, so you can't get tickets for that anymore. Um, as far as I know, there's a couple spots left in the hide and reveal and the negative space class. So there's a link in the description if you want to come. Um, I think I will do something with just black cell activator here. Um, I'm afraid I, this is very thick, but so I don't know if you can see that, probably not. It's 
it's as thick as my other paints. And that shows you that it doesn't really matter what consistency your cell activator is in. I mean, it does, but... <laughs> but... Um, it will still create cells. They will just look differently. See how intense that yellow gets? It's almost like fluorescent. Um, hmm. So now I'm kind of thinking I want to do something with this. I don't want it to get too busy though. It already is pretty busy. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna swipe over this without any cell activator on it. And we'll see what happens. You have to be really careful when you do that. If you have the cell activator on there, the paint between the tool and the other paint just makes it very slidable. While without the cell activator, you pick up some of your paints and drag them with you. So you can get mud, you can um, go down to the pillow, which is something you do not want. I do not want. Always watch what the paint is doing. And then react to it. Let me spread this out a little more. Hmm, do I have white cell activator, I wonder? I don't. Wait a minute, I don't? Yes, I don't. Darn it. Oh well. Because I would have used the white to go in there. That's just not. I will add just black again. There we go. And I will, what am I going to do? Definitely hurry because those cells are losing shape already. Um, hmm, let me go here. Even though I know that I'll probably lose this part, but it helps to spread the black a little bit. Ooh. Asparagus is pretty. Hi, pet. You're not that late. All right. Okay. Um. <laughs> I love when it's doing this. See those little, um, not quite sure when that happens. I think when the paint is fairly thin or when I add too much varnish, which makes it thin. Mm. So it's able to kind of bleed into the pillow paint. Let me give it a tiny, tiny spin. 
tiny enough to move the most paint. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do I want from this? Um, hmm. It's kind of tempting to push everything down here and leave this white. Let's try this. I've never done stuff like that before. <laughs> it's always a good reason to do it. Not sure though. I do like it um, if that was white. Um, thing is though, there's still so much paint on there that we will probably gonna have a problem because I will have to spin more, I will lose more, and it's possible that I will lose more of the white that I want to. So, let me just dip my tool in the middle and see. You, that's a lot. <laughs> mm. Oh, hi, Victoria, thank you. You are what? Hi, Betty. Happy Monday to you, too. Oh, dendro. Okay, Lulu. Dendro dendrites. I've never heard that word. Uh, some consistency as a pillow. Yeah, that's possible. Might even be, hmm, I don't know. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Liking it, but losing a lot. Mm. I know this will spread out a lot still. I don't really want to lose oh, all those problems. I don't want to lose things, <laughs> but I have to. Darn it, people. Darn it. Okay. I really want to know how these look once it's dry. Um, just because of that, I kind of want to keep following that plan of leaving some white up there, even though it might not be a good balance after I'm done. So, okay, look at that yellow. It's so not poopy at all. And you kind of see the um, Nicolas of Gold vibes right there. Cool, cool, cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, but what I gotta do is cover this with white. So let's just go for it. And you see how fast the middle part is moving. And before I reach a corner, I stop. Hello, Christina. Thanks for coming. Dendrites. I have to write down that word. <laughs> okay, so I touched that side with my white. So I have my canvas covered this time. Um. This is tough. 
You know, I don't see a problem with dendrites. I think they're pretty cool. <laughs> pretty cool. They do wash out the more you stretch them. That's what I can see. Um, bunch of bubbles, especially in the black, even though that was sitting for days. Hmm, what is she gonna do? Popping bubbles is my way of procrastination. It gives me the feeling that I do something. It gives me time to breathe. I'm not having to make a decision. Because <laughs> who am I kidding? Making decisions is the hardest. Everywhere. Okay. <laughs> King Kong meets the Kraken. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, what? Okay, I want to know what I don't like. It's this line right there. Why is this so straight and looking like almost a angle that I'm not enjoying. Um, I do think this is the most interesting part though. All the colors and the gold. So I will go back. Go a little bit in this direction to spread my favorite parts out. I don't think I can change. Oops, Salah. I don't think I can change that um, shape right there. Okay. Right now, I, I mean, I still got a little time. Think about it. Um, hmm. Yes, <laughs> that's yeah, King Kong and the Kraken. Okay, yeah, I, I, I buy it. I sure. <laughs> um, would be cool if those eyes would be the red oxide. You know. Oh, what am I gonna do? Okay, I'm gonna give it a spin. It doesn't help. I need to get rid of paint. And I can make a decision, so let's do what's necessary. I really like the color combination, but I'm not quite sure if I did a little mistake here with the black and the white. Um, I mean, you gotta try. E do, otherwise you won't know. Hmm. What do you guys think? Um, the black is, well, it's not really reacting with it. It's just floating into it, uh, into the pillow. So I think it's still on top, but also it's probably the, the hmm. something makes it expand in a weird way. I've seen that before, and that was usually with very thin paints. So maybe thinner paints are able to mix with the pillow better. I don't, 
I don't know. If anybody knows, either right now or later, I would like to know. Okay, guys, seriously, what am I going to do? Kuschelig? Um, I'm really not sure what to do, guys. I don't believe that stretching it this way will save it. I mean, if this was just completely black, yeah, maybe it would look better, more balanced. But this is more... I really, I don't want to mess up these cells here. Hmm. I'm gonna spin. Schmeiß eine Karte oder ein Stolz, wie man beim Doppelkopf sagt. Well, um, <laughs> I'm really, I'm really not sure what to think. Um, well, it was an experiment to see what was fuzzy lines are gonna do. Um, hmm. Let's see how much paint is left. That's good. It happens with the high flow, Lulu. Yeah, you know, I have in the black, there is not the high flow, but the fluid acrylics in there. Um, that's a possibility, but I saw the yellow do it earlier too. Uh, and there was no fluid acrylics in that. Okay, I will listen to you guys. I will leave it like it is. Even though there's a bunch of stuff that I, that kind of bothers me, like eh, this, this just does not make sense. Should I just go again? You guys are up for another one? Paint it on top of this. Yes, about, yes to do it again. Okay, okay, okay. Hi, Audra. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. It's pretty, but okay. I'm going to use this canvas though, so don't yell at me. Hello, Helga, what do you want now? You, you're saying yes too, huh? Okay. All right, let me flip this. I'm doing it. Sorry. It's not really enough paint left to flip it properly in a way that there's no colors just white. But I will have to add some of the pillow paint anyway. So I will just push this to the outside. Use this as my flow extender. And add just a little bit of white in the middle. Okay, thanks for helping me with the decision guys. Let's do this again. Okay, how am I gonna do it again? Maybe this time I should totally go with the idea of doing a, 
Oeps, sorry. Diagonal. Let's just do it. Let's just not talk about it or think about it. Thinking usually does not help. Okay, nickel yellow. Nickel azo yellow. Wow, oh, that thickened up in this half hour. And this time I'll leave white. So basically, doing a little hidden corner, hidden <laughs> hide and reveal corner. It's the red oxide on top of my yellow. Poopy colors. Okay, so much for my white negative space. <laughs> Duh. Okay, sap green. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh! One nine. <laughs> Hi, Laurie. Sorry, guys, everybody who said nine. I guess that was a uh, lost in translation. <laughs> Sorry. I'll make something pretty, I promise. Sap green. This is such a pretty green. That was a lot. Grüner Spargel. Okay. It has a really pretty gold undertone. I like this color. I've got two greens that are like, what's happening? There we go. Do I have, let's hope I have enough black. And maybe it does the same thing again. Okay. But I'm thinking to do a few scoop and drags that will go into the negative space. So, but if I listen to myself, <laughs> when I said it's gonna triple in size, you probably figure it out yourself that there might not be a lot of white left in the end anyway, because I put a lot of paint on there. When will I learn, guys? Uh-huh. Okay, there's my tool. Needs just a little cleaning. And how about we just use gold? No black this time. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. Let's just use black for now. And I want to go just here, kind of do something to break that line up. Now I'm going to do gold. And now... I'm gonna swipe in here and make something pretty, I promise. Maybe we get another Kong. Or at least a Kraken. Oh, mistake. Was a mistake because I did hit my pillow paint. I mean, it was on here, 
and I moved it across. Rookie mistake. Oh well. Hopefully fixable. Let's do gold again. Well, let's do something right here. See, I did it again. That was my pillow paint. But I stopped. If I um, kept going, I would have dragged that pillow paint over my black and no cells, just probably something like this. That's the gold again. And black, just a tiny bit though. Mm -hmm. So, my most yellow and orange were here. I have a black line that has no other color underneath. That was not very smart, Jessica, I guess. Because... messing more with that pillow paint but I think that would look better than just having that gray swipe there Let's scoop this up stretch it Hmm, not much to be seen. Let's do something up here. This might turn out really interesting. See here, the orange does it too. Okay, first things first. More gold cell activator on my tool. There it is. Now let's do something here. Just to bring more of the orange out, but I guess the orange is hiding. I will go over this part with a black cell activator, with a drop of gold. Cell activator and then hmm, a color. How about I just put my orange on that? And some yellow. So loading up the palette knife as we talk. Here it is. And great, what now? <laughs> I go in here, disturb that a little bit. Try to not Strip that part that I like so much. Just that. And bring in some orange. There we go. And I have a little bit on this side. How about we do something like this? <laughs> Bring the pillow in shape. <sighs> so, okay, what I'm going to do is bring my black a little bit further in the middle. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you can, you can tell I'm going to lose all my weight. 
but if I pushed it all the way back, because I think this line might be really interesting. Bring it back to the middle. So the, it's really hard, like I said, the decisions, not just in real life, but also with painting <laughs> and with this way of painting. You just, all you have to do is take responsibility for your actions, you know, because <laughs> I know if I move everything there, I will lose this. So I have to always be in correspondence with my paint always try to find, always negotiate, you know, <laughs> always say, okay, I can't have that, but maybe I can have this, and then we're both happy. Because mm, I really like this. <sighs> it's tough, so I will let go and just spin it without crying after, I promise. See, I lost, not all of it though, it looks, mm. okay, 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 calm down, Jessica. There it is again. All right, I do like this. It's a strange composition, but um, I guess we're all here to see the good stuff happening and not the everyday stuff, right? At least that's why I'm here. I even like this leftover paint and the cells that are forming. I do like even... Shut up, Jessica, okay. I do wanna save this. Does that make sense though? So if I spun it out, let's say, this will all be gone. So I would say like two inches from the outer edges will be gone. I'm, I'm assuming that maybe I have some of this in the corner still. Um, but I do not really want to lose this. So I'm going to save some of it by just pushing it in the middle. And again, I'm not sure if that is actually what I should do, only because I want to keep stuff. Doesn't mean that I should keep stuff. You know what I mean? Because that all usually means consequences for other parts of the painting. I like the, I like to pop the bubbles, but I don't want white underneath, so I'm gonna dunk this. Popping bubbles. Yeah, we can call it Swipey the Pooh. Oh, Pooh Bear, Cushion Bear, and Pooh Colors. I think we found a theme here. <laughs> um, okay, so fact is I need to spin more. Mm -hmm. 
those parts are gone. Guys, I'm, I know there's not going to be much white left. See how much there's moving. Mm -hmm. I really like that. It looks like, like a braid. No, braid. Is that the word that I'm looking for? When you do things with your hair. And there goes my orange spot. And there goes my braid. Oof, dude, I like it. So let's say, oh, black is the negative space now. <laughs> this is pretty. Even that with them having no cells makes it pretty. Okay, I think there's still a bunch of paint left. This is actually the most that I wanted to spin. What is she gonna do? Lots of not knowing today. Okay, I'm gonna try to get rid of this part. Um, and I mean, we're almost there. There's not much moving. But enough to give us a bad dried result. Let's just work on that corner there. Try to cover it without losing too much good stuff. Uh -huh. So much paint. See if a baby spin does it. In a second. Because <laughs> I do need to spin one more time. was not a baby spin. All right, that's it. <laughs> I gotta remember to use way, way less. Weniger ist mehr, Freunde. Less is more. I don't know how many times. I even wrote it on my wall. But you know. What do you think, guys? This is the only thing that is kind of... I probably wouldn't leave it like this. I would probably hang it like this. Like this. And I'm going to leave it like this. Um, so I will get you down for a flyover in just a second. If you have questions that I haven't seen yet and you want me to answer, type them. Type them now and send them in a second. Wow, what is this? It's like it's not... There we go. So my gold in here seems to be disappearing, which happens to my gold a lot. Um, gold cell activators are 
um, heavy. The, well, the gold pigment is heavy. And so they sink very easy. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> okay, I'm not... Um, sorry, I... I did do something to the first one. I do like this one better though. Just the... I don't know. Just the flow is nicer. Even though I had way more interesting cells than the other one. Although, this is cool. This is really cool. So this was the swipe I put on top with a loaded palette knife. All right. Um, okay. Let me clean my hands. Take off my glove. I can't. Ah, there we go. <laughs> okay. I think Terry. And then this is so cool. And this is where the pillow paint makes into the black. Sometimes it can look really bad when it's drying, but it also can look really cool. You just never know. Yeah, the color combination is awesome. This is a cool spot. Um, so it's going to be interesting what's going to happen with that. So I put, I loaded my palette knife and added it on top of my black that was mixed in with the pillow paint. And you can kind of see those oh, fingers that go through the paint on the canvas, but also those lines there, that's the mixed in pillow paint. So it starts here and we'll see how that dries. There you can see, so this is also pillow paint, and you can see how grainy it gets. That's only because it's different types of paint and they have different ways of drying, so they do react to each other. Hm. We will look at it when it's dry, huh guys? Terrier wants something. I'm not sure what. Probably food. <laughs> okay. Oh. Um. Okay. Let me check for questions. How do you get your pill paint to thicken? Not so. I always try to find the right consistency. So I'm lucky and I found it. That would be the PPD Multi Pro or the Glidden Essentials that I get from Home Depot. If you're in a different country or in a different state or you might not get that same paint or it might have a different consistency because they do vary within the states too. Not, um, I know in Canada, for example, the, um, the same paint is not the same as it is here, not as thick. So thickening it up is, you could, for example, just leave the lid open and, you know, let it dry that way, but make sure it doesn't create a film on, on top of it and you got to stir a lot. And sometimes it takes a long time, depending on how thick your paint should be.
the paint you use to hide, is that the same? Yes, it is exactly the same as my other colors. It's just way more of it. Um, and I add, and that has nothing to do with the consistency or anything, I add a little bit of fluid acrylics. You can do dry art, you can do golden. Um, so I mix it up and just add a splash of this. And the reason is not that I want to make it thinner, but I want to kind of keep the consistency, but make it blacker, more black. And I do that with more pigments. And if I use my two paints, it would make it too thick. So that's why I just <laughs> a splash of this. Mm -mm -mm. The bright green I used two weeks ago, two weeks ago, bright green, two weeks ago was this guy, oh, on YouTube, oh, maybe, um, oops, because two weeks ago was this guy. And I did not use any green, but I used Nicolas Gold and blue, which makes green. Um, if it was on a Facebook video, I don't know. Uh, the only bright green that I used lately was golden, so the sap green, then golden gold green. And then there's another green that is um, parakeet mixed with the other green parakeet and lily pet. Oh, lily keet is what I called it. So it could be the gold green by golden or lily pet and parakeet mixed. It was like an apple green. Yeah, then then it must have then it was probably the parakeet and although there's a they are similar. I don't have the goldens here. Um, but actually, the that's I think that's why I used the the green gold because it looked like the parakeet and the pet mixed. Sorry. Thank you, Philip. Okay, guys. I hope I got everything. We're over an hour. Terrier is nibbling on my feet. Hi. <laughs> she clearly wants something. Um, that's the painting. Let's look at it next week when it's dry. And um, thanks for being here. Thumbs up would be great. Bye.